Today we're going to be trying out the new Bear Marquee One Coat Hide Guarantee. Uh, this is a product that I have not personally tried yet. I am a big fan of the Bear Ultra Premium Plus, as you've seen in some of my other videos. Uh, we've recently bought a new home and uh, I have some interior painting to do. So as you can see here we have uh, yellow walls. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the video. But uh, there you go, you can see the yellow. And uh, according to the advertisements, Bear Marquee is a one coat hide guarantee of uh, the colors underneath. And what hide means, to those of you who don't know, is basically the paint's ability to cover other colors. So any of you who have painted much know that when you're covering bright colors or dark colors, sometimes it takes a few coats. In this case, I'm going to be going from this yellow color to a tan color, or a gray, that color right there. And I will be showing you video of how this goes, and letting you know what I think of the product. Okay, so let's get started. We'll take a look at the roller cover that I've chosen to use here. I prefer a purdy uh, quarter inch to half inch nap. This here is a 3 8 inch nap. And what I like to do is remove any and all of the excess fuzz from the roller. Uh, this will help you avoid getting imperfections in your paint and having to uh, scrape sections of the paint off and repaint. So this is a step that I always take before I start painting. Another note of mention is to make sure that you take the proper time to ensure that your walls are prepped properly. Usually there's instructions on the can of paint itself, or you can typically use a non-grease detergent such as a TSP or other type of solution, and that can be purchased at the paint department of your local uh, hardware store or super box store. Now with all of our important prep steps completed, it's off to painting. As you can see, I start off with the edges with my two and a half inch chisel tip brush. Again, I use Purdy, and then I start with the roller. Rolling about two to three strips wide, keeping a wet edge, and edging again. As you can see here, it progresses quite quickly, even with just one person doing the job. Here's a little bit of a closer look at how I like to load the roller brush. As you can see, I pull a little bit of paint away from the puddle, and then I evenly spread it on the roller head itself. Now if you take a close look, you can see that I'm rolling up against the wet edge. I apply the new paint to the wall, and then I go back over my edge where my fresh paint and my wet edge meet, and I do a feather stroke. Again, loading the roller, pulling away from the puddle, evenly spread on roller, and apply next wet line. Then go back and feather stroke where the new wet line and the previous wet line meet. Now any leftover roller marks in the wall, I look to feather out while they're wet and those will dry smooth as long as they are feathered out. Now let's take a moment just to take a closer look at our wet edge and you can see that this paint is hiding very well that bright yellow color underneath. We look back into some of the area that we've already painted. And you can see a little bit of uh, patchy coloring where it's drying. Uh, this you'll see a lot as it dries. Some parts will dry quicker than others, uh, especially along the edges or edges of roller uh, passes. But 
I'll show you in a moment here with a time-lapse uh, picture that those roller lines will fade away. Okay, now this is the moment of truth. This is when most people mess up in painting. The wall's approximately half dry. We started down at this end and worked our way down to this end, maintaining our wet edge at all times on both the top and bottom and the progressive rolling edge. We also did a feather stroke as we progressed. Some you can see a little bit more than others. But currently, the surface is drying. Some people would want to go back and try and roll back over some of this to try and smooth out the color. That is the worst thing that you could do right at this moment. Right now, you just want to let this dry completely, even if you do see some places where you have messed up, you see drip marks, anything like that, you need to leave those and let them dry because you can fix them better when they're dry versus fixing them now when they're half wet, half dry. So I'm not going to touch this wall, I'm going to progress around the room and then I will come back once this is dry and I'll take one final picture of this wall for you to show you exactly how it's going to dry. All right, there we go. All dried nice and even. Not bad. Here's the rest of the room. Still drying. It will soon look just like the first wall I did. Hope you enjoyed this, folks. Please like and subscribe. Taking a moment to go back and take one final look at the Bear Marquee paint interior. I, I'm kind of in a mixed review on this paint. Personally, I still prefer the Bear Ultra Premium Plus over the Bear Marquee. One thing in particular that I did notice with the Bear Marquee is that it was much more, um, much more sticky, and I had a lot more paint drips and drops uh, from both the brush and the roller. So in the future, I think I will be using the Bear Ultra Premium Plus instead of the Marquee and saving the money. Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.